With reports of the curve flattening and some areas reopening, some people feel the worst of coronavirus is behind us. Is that really the case? In today's To Your Wellbeing, we are talking about why we still need to social distance even when we're seeing a drop in cases. And with me right now is Cone Health's Chief Physician Executive, Dr. Bruce Swords. He is joining us. First, we want you to kind of explain why now may be not the time to stop social distancing. about social distancing and agree with you that now is not the time to quit social distancing. If you think about this curve that we have thought about for the last many, many weeks, um, we are still increasing. We are still uh, on the upslope of that curve. And even if someone wanted to make the argument that we're nearing the peak or at the peak, uh, the downside of that curve is at least as long as the upside of that curve. And so now is the time to uh, double down on social distancing, stay away from each other, period. All right, so what would happen if people just decided, you know what, I just don't want to stay at home anymore? Yeah, I can understand why people think that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's been tough to stay at home and not do anything. And I think if you look at this from an epi epidemiologic point of view and a transmission point of view, if we all gathered tonight and had one big party, there are many of us who could be infected and don't know it. We're going to transmit that to the healthy amongst us. And five to 14 days from now, uh, we will see this curve that has had a nice slope to it would uh, escalate, the slope would increase, and we'd have a significant problem in a very short period of time. Yes, yeah, someone is asking, is there a time frame for how long we need to social distance? It's a great question. Um, it, it's, a, it's a great question, and it's a really tough one to answer, is we have lots of modeling inside of uh, our facilities and people who are doing a lot of math equations trying to answer that question specifically. Um, we anticipate the peak at Cone Health will be well into May or June. And so we certainly will be preaching social distancing through that time period and beyond. And I think we're going to have to get used to the idea of staying away from each other for a prolonged period of time. It may look differently a few months from now than it does today, uh, but I think we will be social distancing for a prolonged period of time. All right, so how can we as a community help Cone Health during this pandemic? The best thing that the community can do for the community and Cone Health as part of the community is to continue to social distance, stay away from each other and be healthy. I will take the opportunity to make it clear to everyone that Cone Health is here to serve all the communities that we serve. And for heaven's sakes, if you need us, if you've got a medical emergency, seek care now. Don't put emergency care off. We're here to help. We're talking about like stroke, heart attack, broken bones. You want to make sure that those people are being seen. Absolutely. Now is not the time mm -hmm. to uh, ignore those serious medical events because there's a slight fear of coronavirus.